Hello, everybody. I'd like to speak in my language, but uh, if there were some native people around, I would. But since you all wouldn't understand what I'm saying, except Jim and Larry, uh, in our way, our Athabascan the history of our people was brought down for many years. Uh, and it was always our way of knowing to welcome people like you to our Athabascan country. Our Athabascan country is a broad area. I stand here and I could think about a number of acres that we focus on. We don't think, focus just here in this room. We think about a broad area. <clears throat> the surrounding mountains all the way around us for 50, 100 miles would be what we'd be thinking about. As an elder that was taught by my, <clears throat> my grandfather, my dad, my uncles, I have the authority to speak about our country in our own way. In our own way, we think about the surrounding areas as food gathering areas. We don't think about it as farming. We don't think about it as economic development. We think about it as survival. That is the main purpose of us being in the interior. Around every village, you'll notice that people know the area very, they are very familiar with the area. My ancestors, I talk about the hundreds of miles around us has traveled, walked all over this land one time. You're sitting, probably sitting on a footprints of my ancestors. There's no other way to describe the real meaning of our people. But you start from the ground where you was brought up from. And that's where you're going to go back into. Our way of religion has brought us this far. I was mentioned <clears throat> to the gentleman over there how the, the ministers first came into our area, tried to transform us into Christians. But we were already Christians in our own way. We were a gift. We had a gift that was brought with us when we were born. And that gift is what I'm speaking from. I may not, I may not have uh, the education in your area, but I have the education of being who I am. There is no greater education than that. So I stand here before you and tell you that one day, one day, somebody will understand who we are. But as of today, I'm the only one that knows who I am. And that gift was given to me. In my presentation to the school, the students, I use this kind of connection to them so they'll understand who they are. There's no way in, in the education system you can explain who somebody is, but by them and through them only. I just want to give this uh, brief introduction of who I am. 
my plan to tell you in every village there's supposed to be four clans. In my home in Minto, we do have four clans. And I'm to tell you. My grandma originated from down below Cochrane, around Cochrane's, that's below Canada. She came into the interior by way of my grandpa. My dad came from the upper Tanana, the Ketchum stuff. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's an old abandoned village. So I'm originally from two different places. And how we cross those two cultures is where I am right now. I know about both through my dad and my grandma and my mom. So that's the kind of history stuff we we talk about. First, you identify yourself, who you are. In the old world, the real world, where I came from, you wouldn't be noticeable unless you identify yourself through this process. That's our native ways of knowing. I want to end by just saying that we're all here together, and we're all friends under one roof. And I'm